Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. So today I would do something a little bit different, or at least different for me. This is a video that has been done all over booktube. It's the try a chapter tag. And the reason why I decided to do that this week is because as you are watching this video, or I mean actually you could be watching this video at any point in time, but when this video goes live, <laughs> I will be on my way to a wedding for a friend of mine. So the wedding is taking place in Omaha, Nebraska. I live in Chicago, Illinois, and through a <laughs> series of events. I'm actually taking the train down to Kansas City, Kansas, Missouri, whatever. My friends live on the Kansas side to visit them for a night. And then we're going to drive from Kansas City to Omaha for the wedding because, you know, Kansas City and Omaha are only like two to three hours away. So I have about a 10 to 12 hour train ride ahead of me on Friday, which I'm actually kind of looking forward to because like how often you get like an entire day where you're allowed to just like chill out and read or do whatever you want on a train. I think trains are super underrated in the United States and I love them. I used to commute on the train for a while and I really enjoyed that experience because it gave me so much reading time and then I've like taken the train down to St. Louis before so I know like what these train rides are kind of like. So yes, I have a significant amount of time and I'm not going to be alone. I'm traveling with someone else. So it's not like I'm going to spend the whole time reading, but she's also someone who enjoys reading. So I have the feeling that there's going to be a significant amount of time where I can do some reading. So I figured I would figure out what books I want to bring with me on this trip because, you know, that's always the most important part. <laughs> anytime you're traveling, right? So yeah, I thought I would start off by like talking about what I'm currently reading and what I'm thinking about for this trip and things like that. Um, on the way back, I'm going to be like in a car with some friends who are driving out early. So I'm not going to have like the same significant amount of time to read on the way back. That time will probably be spent you know, talking to my friends who are in the car. So I probably won't have that. Uh, but this is mainly for the train ride itself and for trying to plan ahead a little bit because I don't want to overpack books. Although <laughs> when you hear me talk about these, I probably will still overpack a little bit, but I, that's just my nature. Anyways, let's get started. All right. So first, just to kick things off, I'm recording this video on Wednesday. So I'm in the middle of the ensemble by AJ Gitt. Gable or Gable and I'm almost done with it. I have, I'm on 247 and the total number of pages is 335. So what is that math? Almost a hundred, a little under a hundred pages, like 80 pages. So there's a very, very, very high chance that I will be finishing this before I go on this trip. But on the very small chance that I don't, I'll take this with me. But like, honestly, I'm going to be mad if I take this book with me because I should be able to finish those pages before I go and I don't want to like bring a book that will only last me like 20 to 25 pages or something like that. I might just end up staying up late <laughs> on Thursday to finish the book uh, just to like guarantee that that doesn't happen. So yes, the other reason why I wanted to talk about it is because like I don't often like to read books that are similar in style or genre like back to back because they start to like blend a little bit and they start to get like compared to each other in my brain and stuff like that. So this is a literary fiction novel. So what I'm planning on bringing with me is stuff that feels like slightly more genre-y. So one thing I'm like 99% sure I'm going to bring on the trip with me is Aisha at Last. This is a book I bought when I was in St. Louis back in July and I started it while on that trip and I was really enjoying it and I got almost to the halfway point and then I put it down because I had to like read library books that were due or something for Red or Dead or something along those lines like something that had like a hard deadline to it so I put this book down and then I like never picked it back up again because I wasn't really in the mood for a uh, rom com type of book but I feel like vacations are kind of the perfect time for stuff like that so I feel like bringing this would be good because one I can like finish it and move it from my to be read shelf to my red shelf uh, but also since I already know I'm enjoying it I'll kind of get things started on a good note so there's a pretty good chance that the first part of my trip will be spent reading this book okay so the next part of this is like me trying to figure out 
whether I want to read library books or my physical books because my physical TBR is overwhelming me a little bit at the moment. I think I need to do another clean out of it, figure out which books and my TB physical TBR I want, actually want to keep. I've gotten a number of books in the mail recently, which has been great, but it like stresses me out when my pile gets too big and my pile is getting a little bit too big. So there's that. There's also the fact that I have library books and some of the books are due relatively soon, not like super soon. And the fact that I have to read them over the course of this weekend because they're going to be due on like Monday or or anything like that but you know the deadlines are coming up and there are no more renewals left on them so the, the, these are the ones that are sort of like top priority all right so the first book that I'm going to be like trying a chapter of is Drive Your Plow Over the Bones by Olga Tokarczuk um or sorry Drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead this is a book in translation it was translated from Polish and I picked it up for Women in Translation Month I think it just came out in like September or something along those lines as well so this library book is due on September 27th and so it is due relatively soon but I've heard kind of mixed things about this book as well so I, I wanted to do specifically the try a chapter tag on this one to see whether or not it would actually be a good one for me to bring on this trip because books in translation I mean books in general all have a very specific vibe to them but I feel like especially with books in translation the styles and the ideas can sometimes be a little bit out there a little bit more heady a little bit more literary I don't know anything really about this book so I kind of want to try a chapter of it to see if the writing style is something that I think I would feel comfortable reading on the train one thing that I will say is because I have a train ride I think that it would be kind of nice to pick up a book like that just because I'll have such focus time that it might actually be a really good point to pick up books that are slightly more heavy or literary in nature that would require more focus because I'll actually have like focus time like five to ten hours of focus time with a book so yeah that's part of the reason why this is on the list also on the list is five dark fates by kendra blake this is the fourth and i think final book in her three dark crown series i've read every single one of these books and i've really enjoyed them and this is like i said the final book in the series this one is from the library and it's due back on October 4th so less of a deadline for this one but there are again no renewals on this one because there are holds on it um, and I'm really excited to like jump back into this series the only thing that makes me slightly hesitant is that I've just recently read Spin the Dawn which is also a young adult fantasy but I have a feeling that they are going to feel very very different from each other because this series is very much like a slow burn fantasy series and also this is the final book in a series so there's that so I kind of want to bring this one with me because it's young adult so it'll be engaging in a way that young adult is but it isn't like necessarily my number one priority to read at the moment so that's kind of what has me slightly iffy about it. Then I have The Black Jersey by Jorge Zepeda Patterson. This is a new mystery book that came out. The author is of Mexican descent and this is a book translated from Spanish. Um, this is a mystery book that deals with like bike races or something along those lines and so I've heard really really good things about this book and I was just like at my library and I saw it on like the new releases shelf so I just kind of grabbed it and brought it home and again this one is due on October 5th so again not a super looming deadline but it is one I need to read sooner rather than later and I also thought this would be good because like if it's a really good gripping mystery then that'll be really great for a train ride. All right and then the final book I have for the try chapter tag that is a library book is Lock of the Dead by Oscar de Muriel. Um, so this is another book that I literally just saw on the shelf while I was at the library and I was like hey that sounds kind of interesting and I've also never heard of it before and so I just decided to grab it. This is another mystery book. This is apparently like the middle of a series so part of me kind of just wants to return it and then get the first book in the series and give this a try but part of me also kind of doesn't care. <laughs> So yeah, I, I feel like, again, I can try a chapter of this, see if I'm in the mood for it, and it also kind of helped me decide if I want to read this book or if I want to like go back and start from the beginning of the series. All right, then I picked two books off of my physical TPR just in case. First one is Confessions of Franny Langton by Sarah Collins. This is a historical fiction book that also has a slight mystery bent to it. This one came out earlier this year and I've been wanting to read it for a while now. It's one that I've sort of like moved to the top of my physical TPR in terms of like wanting to read it. Um, so I'm going to try reading this one and see if it catches my attention. And then the other book I have is Pet. This one just came out I think this past week or maybe two weeks ago. I was sent an advanced copy of it um, and it was also just long listed for the National Book Award. So I feel like this would be a fun one to bring along if only because I have a feeling this would be a good one to keep in my bag 
on wedding day. I know that's a terrible thing to say, but sometimes there's downtime and you need a book. All right, I've gone through the first chapters of all these books and I've made my decisions. First, this one, not coming with me. <laughs> it's exactly what I thought. Like it's very literary in nature. It's very like metaphorical in the story that it's trying to tell. And I just think that after reading the ensemble and kind of being in a vacation mindset and the week that I've had that has exhausted me quite a bit. This is not at all what I'm in the mood for. I'm not necessarily saying I'm not going to read it. I'm probably going to try to pick this one up after this weekend. Um, so over the course of this next week so I can finish it before the due date, which again is the 27th. But yeah, not coming with me on this trip. This is the one I am going to bring with me on the trip if only because I want to finish the series. <laughs> so one of my concerns with this was I was afraid I wouldn't actually remember anything that happened in the previous books. When I was picking this one up from the library, I had this moment of, did I actually read the third book in the series? And I like checked my Goodreads and it said I did, but then I was like, I honestly don't remember anything that happened. So as I was reading the first chapter, Kendara Blake did the amazing thing where she kind of recaps what happened previously <laughs> through the character. So yeah, once I started reading it and it started like sparking those like memories, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. That's all that happened in these previous books. I want to know how it's all going to end. So I think I am going to bring this one, but it's kind of a bringing it if I'm in the mood for it. I'm not like 100% sure if I want to read another young adult fantasy book so soon. So this is kind of like one I'm bringing as like a backup. Like if Aisha at last is my first pick, this will be like my third pick on the list, if that makes sense. So you might be saying, so then what's your second pick? The Black Jersey. This one totally vibed with me. Um, so this one actually follows a group of bicyclists who are competing in the Tour de France. So you're, I think you're specifically following a single team of people on the Tour de France. And so the first chapter of this book is basically you getting introduced to the main character and the other people who are on his team, which includes this his best friend who is an American bicyclist. Um, and I think that like over the course of the Tour de France, things start happening to the different bicyclists. But yeah, the way that it's written, or at least the way that it's translated, totally into it. And also I was thinking about how I haven't read a mystery recently, at least in terms of like since the last time I recorded an episode of Writer Dead, so I feel like this is definitely going to be the book I pick up after I read Aisha at last. So I'm going to leave Lock of the Dead at home as well. This is a book that I'll probably pick up after I come back from the trip and things like that. There's still some time before it's due back at the library, but this one has like that historical fantasy sort of vibe to it. Like it reads kind of like a, not a gothic novel, but kind of like a classic novel. Like it feels like it takes place in the 1800s, which maybe it does. I didn't look that far into like the setting or anything like that with this book. But yeah, it just wasn't really what I'm looking for for this trip. And with a limited amount of time to actually do some reading, I was like, this is one I can wait until I'm back to pick up. This is also one I think I'm going to leave behind. Like if I had another train ride home, I would bring this book with me for sure. But I don't think I'm going to read it while I'm on this trip being realistic. I am enjoying it. But again, I think I just finished reading like this literary fiction novel and I've had a really exhausting week. And this the way this book is written is really well done. But it's just like not the specific style I want right now. Like I want things that are kind of fast paced and like really grab my attention right away and stuff like that, especially for this train ride. So I like this book. I kind of like there's a part of me that wants to bring it just in case I change my mind after reading like Aisha at last and the black jersey. I Part of me is kind of concerned that I'm gonna want something slightly more literary in nature um, or like leaning more towards the descriptive beautiful writing side of things as opposed to the action side of things. So there's a chance that this might slip into my back. But I have a feeling that again if I'm ranking them first is Aisha at last, then it's the black jersey, then it's five dark crowns. What is it called? Five Dark Rains? I don't remember what these books are called. <laughs> Those books are called. Then it would be this one. So yeah, we'll we'll see how much space I have. I'm bringing like a duffel style bag because it's only a weekend trip. So I don't know if I'm going to have space for like four or five books. <laughs> Man, I'm so ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically what my plan is of at the moment. If there's a chance it could change uh, between now and when I actually leave on the trip, but I don't actually think it will. So yeah, if you want, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll probably like post some fun pictures from the train of what I'm reading and how I'm enjoying things and stuff like that and of my travels. So feel free to follow me on there or you can follow me on Goodreads if you want to just see when I finish reading any of these books and you can kind of get a 
quick idea of if I ended up enjoying them or not. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you've read any of these books that I've mentioned here today, or just let me know what you plan on reading this weekend. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Thank you.